it up with a statement from the head coach. Mm -hmm. First of all, I want to congratulate Bing Binghamton on an outstanding season. They have an outstanding team and well coached and they play the game the right way and they play hard and they have nothing to hang their heads about. That was an out I, th I thought they played two outstanding games and they end up 0-2 in the tournament. So I just want to congratulate them first and foremost. Um, second of all, it was a long day, obviously. Um, the rain delays and all the stuff that happened both during the game and before. Thought our kids found a way to stay focused for nine innings, and we had a bad inning in there after we finally, it's been a long time since we had a big inning, I think. We finally were able to get a big inning going, put the consecutive at-bats together, and then we went out there and gave the momentum right back to them. But, uh, um, you know, um, obviously uh, Toby Anderson just uh, started out the game just attacking the strike zone, and then he went out there after we got our five spot on the board there. And... Uh, in the in the fifth, and I just thought he lost his aggressiveness and didn't didn't attack the zone and walk two people. And big innings come from walk hits and errors, and that's what that inning was about. But Ty warmed up, and then we got the lightning, and um, we debated about what to do there, and decided to get. We went in the bullpen. He said he felt good, so he just went out there and did a fantastic job of just filling up the strike zone with strikes. And I thought we made some outstanding plays behind him and. I thought our team today looked more like it did for a lot of the season this year, and I think we got our swagger back a little bit on offense, so hopefully this will keep us going here in this tournament. Questions for first for the student-athletes? So can you talk about coming out there after the rain delay, you throw one pitch and you get the out. It, does that kind of build up a little bit of confidence for you, make you feel good about yourself? Because when you get out of what, even though it was an extended inning because of the rain, a long inning anyway. Right. Um, well, first of all, I, I think the grounds crew did a phenomenal job um, getting the field ready, making sure that the time that I had to sit was was quite limited. Um, I'm pretty sure that if I were had to sit another hour or so, um, like can happen, especially when the get the amount of rain that we got, um, then then I'm pretty sure that I think things would have looked a little bit different. So, um, great job to them. In regards to getting the first out, um, yeah, I, I think it helps you get your confidence back. It's uh, a one pitch out, um, and then most of all, I think it, it gets the momentum going back to you. It's uh, it's definitely a tough thing to come out after the beginning that we had and give up five runs, um, but being able to get the guys swinging as quick as possible is best in that situation. We went back and put two up there and gave ourselves a little bit of breathing room. So. Um, yeah, I think more for, for momentum than anything, um, but it's it's definitely helpful. Jordan, can you talk about your game? You, I mean, you essentially started every inning in, in different ways. Right. Yeah. Um, you know, right now I'm just um, seeing the ball a little better than I was at the end of the year. Um, for me, confidence is a big thing. Um, stepping the box of confidence helps me a lot. I get in trouble when I don't have confidence um, up there. So just tracking the ball and seeing the ball well helps me a lot. The, well, the first one was a four pitch walk, correct? I mean, right. You think that just kind of shook him maybe a little bit? Yeah, I think a little bit. I think, you know, leadoff walks tend to score a lot of the time. Um, Tyler Price, we did this, gets pitches a little rattled. Um, so I definitely think it helped out. That's the home runs. I mean, you've had two now down here. You must be liking it down here. Yeah, Texas is nice, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> um, so, I, yeah, I had one all year. So, I mean, two in these last two games might be a little shocking to everyone else, but. Can you just. Uh, Talk about some of the plays that were made, tied not necessarily behind you because a lot of them, two of them were in the ninth inning, but the, that the defense made today. Oh boy, um, Terrence play obviously, Boxwell's play out and right, um, and then some of the pickups that guys had on throws. Mike had some great plays uh, across the board. We do, we just feel the positions really really well, and we've done that all year for the most part. So. Um, definitely nice to have. <clears throat> Obviously, getting big outs like that are important. But uh, honestly, from a pitching staff um, standpoint, that's something that we've seen all year and uh, probably become more accustomed to than previous years. So it's been pretty nice. Opening up for questions for the head coach as well. Coach, can you talk about the rain and, and what it did for you guys? I mean, it, it obviously had to have helped you more than them in that it slowed their momentum down. Yeah, no question. I, th I think when you're on that side of it offensively, you got it rolling. They had us uh, on the run there a little bit. And, uh, you know, even though we changed pitchers, um, I still think the momentum's on their side. And uh, 
So obviously we were able to, the, the rain broke that momentum, and uh, but still we had to make a decision with Ty, and you know he went in the game and, and uh, he threw a strike and we got an out, and uh, so and then for us to get the momentum back the next inning was huge. Um, to get our confidence back and get the momentum back on our side was huge, and to get a two run lead, and there was a lot of talk about that. The offense felt confident; they felt like they were swinging good again. Uh, you know, through the lineup, and I think they were anxious to get the game going again and get back up to home plate, and for Ty to get him there as quickly as he did, um, especially with the game still in balance, I, I thought that was huge. Do you think in the fifth, Toby, maybe that was, you guys had such a long fifth, maybe that hurt him a little bit? I just think he went out there and didn't have an aggressive mindset. He threw two breaking balls to the first guy. And he's a sinker guy. He's got to attack the bottom of the zone with the fastball. And he got a little too cute there. It's first pitch swinger, and he's trying to get too cute. And he, he shouldn't be throwing his third pitch in that situation. And, um, you know, we talked about it. And I just thought he lost his aggressiveness and, and started to pitch uh, defensively rather than being on the offensive. We had a five-run lead. you got to make him beat, it, beat you with your bat. And, and he walked two guys at it. And I think he walked a nine-hole hitter. Um, and I just thought he lost his aggressiveness in that attack in the zone, started rushing down the slope. And, uh, and, and when he struggles, it's out, of, it's, out of the, it's out of the set, not out of the windup. And he was in the set that inning. And he just, I thought he lost his aggressiveness. I thought he pitched very defensively uh, rather than aggressively like he did the first four innings. He just attacked the zone. And, and uh, he'll learn from it. First time on the big stage, first time in the NCAA tournament, first year as a starter. These are all part of learning and growth, and he'll learn from it, and he'll grow from it, and he'll be a better pitcher because of it. Kind of some breaks went against him too, with, with the decision that Turn made, and, and then the, and then it looked like Turn won. You know, Turn's been out since game 28, and he's played the last two days, and it's still game speed, and he's, he's you know he hasn't been playing all year, and so I think he's still getting adjusted to game speed, making just quick decisions on the field, and. And uh, Connor Schaefbar on the second one communicated to him he was playing the hole and he had to go to first base and so he just he, he forgot I guess and uh, so they did communicate and that's all you can ask him to do he felt terrible he felt terrible and then when we had the break I talked to him he felt terrible um, but uh, he's a freshman and he's been out a long time and look at the plays he did make for us he got a big hit for us today um, so he's still he's still playing his way back into shape and I think game speed is something you got. You get better as you play more. So um, his at bats have gotten better as he's played more. So uh, it's going to happen. It happens to every player in the game. And I, I was I'm thankful for the way he responded and came back. Look at the big plays he made for us uh, after that happened. So that's a testament to his ability to, to to flush it and move on and be ready to help the team. And the guys, the older guys, told him that in the locker room um, when, in the rain delay. You know, move. Let's move on. It's over. It's done. You know, we got we got to rest the game to play. Get a big hit for us. Make a play for us. So I think the older guys really helped him, gave him confidence, didn't look down on him for making a mistake. Said, hey, come on, we got a game to play, and you got to help us win it. Play makes in the ninth doesn't hurt anything. Does no, it? no, it does. Game. So, you try to tell kids, you know, get ready for the next play, and you can make a difference in the game on the next play or the next at bat. And, and uh, you know, he's a competitive kid. He, you know, he wants to win, and and uh, he made a mistake. So, so is everybody that's played this game. You feel a little bit better about going into tomorrow's game, having seen what you've, you're talking about with the with the bats. Yes, I, I do feel a little bit better. Yeah, and I think you know, Taren, Taren's back in the two spot where he was before he got hurt. You know, we, we, we've moved our lineup around a little bit. And I, you know, hitting's contagious. It's it's all about confidence. Is is you know, Jordan said it's all about confidence. And it, and, and when guys start getting confident in home plate and feeling good up there, I, I think it makes a difference. And we faced a lot of good pitching here <laughs> the last few weeks of the season. And they can the good pitching can take away your confidence fast. And and a day like today can surely flip the switch back the other way. And I think I started to feel that in the dugout today. Who you start to well, um, probably have two people in mind. Um, either Tyler Hansen, a right-hander, uh, who's been a long guy. He started the season as one of our starters, and we flipped him and Toby Anderson out. And uh, Lucas Gilbert is another possibility. We used him long this year, too. So either one of those two guys depends on who we play. And I have to think about it. I'll probably tell them both to be ready to start tomorrow. We'll make a decision once we figure out who we're playing and, and some of those things. But uh, Ty, did a, Ty really picked this up huge today. He saved our bullpen today by his ability to get us to the ninth inning, not have to use anybody. So that's really going to help us tomorrow. I didn't have to use Glowicki. Didn't have to use Gilbert today. Um, that's really going to help us tomorrow.